behind me. I can't even find it. <clears throat> wow. That was so disrespectful. As soon as I started my video, I'll be like, hey y'all, with a broke nail. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome aboard. Today's video is just this everyday natural makeup look. I mean, well, these lashes are dramatic, but. The makeup look is super simple. The eyeshadow, everything is pretty much drugstore, except for this foundation. I mean, this Fenty Beauty Primer. But other than that, everything else is pretty affordable. And I'm still learning how to put my lashes on, so don't come for me if they look a little off. Okay, <laughs> do not come for me. But this is what they look like. Anyways, you want to see how I got this look? Keep watching. By the way, y'all, my hair is not done. I just co-washed it this morning, and I got a plastic bag on under here. And I put my wig cap on top so it can try to be flat, but it's not that flat. And this is just a shirt that I got on top of my head. But I had to do what I had to do, okay? I had to record this video. I got some stuff to do later, so I was trying to go ahead and get this out the way. I'm trying to be more consistent on my channel, but... I just don't know what type of content that like I really want to post. So I don't know, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying to debate. Like, do I just want to do makeup? Cause, well, I'm not gonna just do one thing. Cause I want to do more than one thing. But my makeup videos don't be getting no views. But I'm not gonna be one of them people who just only do what people want to see. Like, I'm gonna still do my makeup videos if I feel like it. Like, if I want to. But, um, my vlogs, they get okay views. I mean, I'm just starting out, so. But, um, my video on my bundle wraps got a lot of views. So, that's like my most viewed video now. So, yeah. If y'all got any suggestions or something, leave them down below, okay? Okay, y'all. So, I'm first starting off by priming my eyes with my concealer in the color medium beige. I'm just going to do this for both of my eyes. Yeah, so the palette that I'm using is the Morphe 15D palette. It's called the Day Slayer palette. It's pretty affordable. Morphe, I mean, Morphe has pretty affordable palettes that has really good pigment. So, you know, if you a college student, high school student, whatever, you going back to school, you're on a budget, you know, I think this was only like $15. Plus, you know, of course, like shipping and all that because I ordered it offline. But that's pretty affordable for the pigment that their palettes have. So yeah. And as y'all can already see, I'm just going in with this brown shade. I literally only use two shades for this eye look. This brown shade and then the shimmer. That's my quickest go-to look if I'm in a rush and I just want, want to have something on my eyes. So yeah. All right, so now I'm going in with a shimmer um, shade. I'm gonna wet my brush and then go in with it. I believe the color that I use is called Bronze Beauty. I think that's like my number one go-to in that palette. And then I think my second go-to is the orangey kind of looking one. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, the Bronze Beauty is really pretty and really big and tip. And y'all, excuse the side of my mouth. It looked like I got spit and shit on the side of my mouth, but I promise it's just Carmax. I don't know why when I just put lip gloss on Carmax, I just, I don't stay inside my lips. I don't know why. <laughs> it looks like I got spit in the corner of my mouth. It's just Carmax, y'all. It's just Carmax. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Primer. 
I think I had already primed my face before this. But when I be doing my eyeshadow, sometimes if I have fallout, I go back and I wipe it off. So I still end up reapplying primer anyway. So I don't know why I just don't wait. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But yeah, I'm just going to rub that all in my face. And then I wait like a minute or two to like let it sit in. Whatever primer I use, I wait a couple minutes before I apply my foundation. So now it's time to apply my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Superstay in 355. I only use a couple pumps of this because this one and the other foundation from Maybelline that I'm about to show y'all, the Fit Me Foundation, they are the exact same shade, which is 355 Coconut. But the Superstay is way darker than that one. And I don't know why, but it is. So I just mix it a little bit because it is more full coverage. But the other one, the Fit Me Foundation, is closer to my actual shade. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, I can't remember what color this is. I think it's number 30. But I just apply it under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose. I take it kind of close to my nose to make my nose appear smaller. I don't contour my nose. So, I mean, just moving the concealer over a little bit works for me. So, that's just what I do. <laughs> Alright y'all, so after letting my concealer sit for just a couple minutes, I go ahead and blend it right in. I am going to look into getting some new products. I want to try a new foundation and concealer, something more expensive, but for right now, yeah, this is what I'm using. Alright y'all, so now I'm going to take this Ben and Banana Powder to set my face. I'm going to pour it on the back of my palette because I normally pour it in the top, but I think I got some glitter in it from another brush. So, I just pour it on the back of my palette and then apply it to under my eyes and my chin. I don't apply it to my nose because sometimes my nose be already feeling dry. So, I just skip that area and I don't have a problem with my face getting oily. So it works out. Okay, guys, so I ended up setting my chin and my smile lines. It's like days later I'm editing this. <laughs> but, yeah, sometimes I do set my smile lines. But, I don't know. I don't know if it really makes a difference or not. But, yeah. So, 
so right here i started to dust away my um powder but it wasn't working with the brush i had so i did end up using my beauty blender Now I'm going in with my Tarte blush. Um, I got this when I used to get my Ipsy subscription back. Um, I know this is not a drugstore product, but you can use any drugstore blush that you have. Yeah, so I went to put some lashes on off camera. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm still practicing. But this um setting spray did come from Walmart, so it is a drugstore product, but it stinks for y'all. It smells like that red hot gun kind of, and I hate the smell of that shit. It stinks, but <laughs> it's cheap. So now I'm going in with a black radiance contour palette from medium to dark. And I'm just gonna be using the highlighter in here to highlight my face. My sister had used it when she bought it, and I was like, dang, I forgot that palette got a highlighter in it. So I was like, let me use this, plus this drugstore. So, yeah. So, excuse my face, you guys. I was looking crazy because I was like, this shit is not even showing up, but. It's a very light highlighter, but it is very buildable. So, I still recommend this palette because I like the contour and I like the highlight. Okay, y'all, so I'm a gloss girl. I don't really do lipsticks and stuff like that often. Um, just because I haven't really found my shade of lipstick and I'm kind of like, don't like wasting my money. So I'm just going in with a little gloss from the beauty supply. Nothing major. All right, y'all, so this is the end of the video. Let me know how your back to school looks come out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.